Hello YouTubers, Alan Lindsley here and today's video is going to cover the changes and difficulties that may occur while you're on your world travel to multiple countries over an extended period of time. So if you do like the video, please like and subscribe, but let me get into it. You know, basically, you know, if you, if you do travel over an extended period of time, you could run into and you will run into the situation changing. You never know, government regulation changes, the, the policy, the friendliness, who knows, anything can really happen. You know, you might be traveling the world and then the countries go to war with each other and then there's probably, you'll run into trouble like just moving around the country or moving from country to country. But, you know, for the most part, that doesn't happen, you know, but it is a possibility that you do have to take into consideration. So when you do plan where you go and what you're doing and for how long, just take that into consideration. If you're going into like, you know, a country or region that's been in, in conflict over, you know, maybe centuries or few years or, or whatever, then take that into consideration. Understand the route you choose matters. You know, if you go to an area and it's just in civil war or there's conflict or political upheaval, then you might run into some issues. You know, kind of select the time of where you go. You know, in the different, and it changes. You know, just because the countries get along one year doesn't mean they're going to get along the next year. So stay up to date on current relations with each country in the political atmosphere. You know, one country might be a hot tourism, but then, you know, a few years later, you know, it's just completely changed where there might be some kidnappings, there might be crime, drugs, the, the crime rate, they, they might try to, you know, just rob you, where before it was a safe environment. So, again, research is the key. You know, you look into these things, and, and again, I apologize for the trucks that you hear in the background. You, my office here is not, you know, the, the typical, you know, air-conditioned office with the comfort and amenities. This is actual world travel that multiple countries over five months to three months in Japan, one month in Thailand, one month in the Philippines, one day in Sweden. So, you know, with this, I, my, I'm finishing up my three months in Japan. I'm moving over to the Philippines and the weather became a factor. A super typhoon just hit the Philippines. So they've got, you know, houses, you know, everything's disrupted, flooding, uh, like landslides where people got killed with some landslides. So, you know, it, it's just, you have to be aware of these things. So that way you can plan and adjust you know, and it's not all doom and gloom. Like this video just focuses on kind of, you know, some negative stuff that might happen. But this this is like the extreme cases. Not that any of this is going to happen, but it is a possibility that you should take into consideration with your world travels because you don't want to shoot off somewhere and then now, oh, you know, you did, you wasn't aware of something when all when you could have been, when you could have did the research, you could have looked it up. And now it's causing you issues that could have been prevented. I'm not talking about unpreventable, you know, situations or problems. I'm talking about stuff you can control. Anything you can control, you know, to where you go, to your decisions, you know, that will dictate a successful trip, a pleasurable trip, a, a trip where you get the most bang for your buck, the most experiences. To where, you know, if you just go to a country and you know where you're going, you know that, know where, where everything's at. And then getting there and just you, you, you're you not sure where to go or you don't know where anything's at or you don't know the exchange rate. There's a lot of considerations when you, you know, world travel. And the biggest thing is, is you're not on a normal vacation. It's world travel, multiple countries, extended period of time. So... You're actually living there, so you, you become part of the community. You, you, you get to know and see things, and you have the time to experience the culture in an in-depth way that just someone there, that's there for a week does not. So there's the benefits of it. But I just wanted to make aware, you know, you do have to take into consideration the, the issues that come. And in my link below in the description area, I post 
a few books that give you some some tips on world travel so if you'd like you, you got some reading there you've got some items there survival stuff survival gear some suggested stuff it's just in the link below it's through amazon so you know if you do need any of those or they do fit what you're planning on doing for your trip just please take a look at that and i'll leave you with that you know again taking into consideration the weather political environment you know the fact that things can and will change you know and just anything can happen so you know once you get done with your trip and you know depending you might want difficulty you might that may be what you're going for and you want to go through the most difficult region that's hard to travel and just isolated because you want to be and do something manly or womanly you know that might be your thing well then you can plan that you know go through the sahara through the congo you know all that it depends on your level on what you want in life but you know if you just want a vacation where you just extended period of time you're just a backpacker hiking through the countries just getting to see the world and you you want relative safety then take those into consideration so you know when and where to go and areas to avoid and the route and path you should take with your trip so again i'll leave you with that and have a good day